What's up guys, Bryce Michael RC here, and I realize I haven't really shown you guys my drones, and I've done some videos on drones and such, and I just want to show you guys my top two drones that I fly, uh, tell you what's in it, and I'll leave the links in the description, in the description, and um, just letting you guys know that both of these were hand built from the ground up by ordering everything separately from Amazon. And both of these are what I would kind of consider a budget build. So they're, they're primarily iFlight, and I love iFlight. I was flying the uh, Diatone Mamba, which I really absolutely love that board. But unfortunately, I ended up frying it out. Also, I ended up, I was flying this drone, this board at one point, this HGLRC. And when it's flying, it's a great board, flies great. These are uh, Racer Star 35 amp ESCs. The problem with this board, and you guys can see it, there's a uh, hot glue all over that connection there. And it's not just the one, so I don't want anybody to get on the comments and say, this is my favorite board, I love HGLRC, and uh, you're just talking crap about it. Uh, no, I bought two, because I loved how it flew so much at first that I bought another one. I had the same problem with both of them. Uh, this connector here, uh, ends up getting messed up and it just death spirals and there's no fixing it yeah I tried so many different things to get it to work and because I really wanted this to work it was a good board when it flew right so retired it not using that won't buy it again so that's what I used at first when I first got back into flying FPV uh, then I went to the Mamba I used an F405 Mamba Diatone Mamba board really really loved it flew fantastically so I've just been buying stacks of two products that go together now it's just a whole lot easier on the build not as fun but it's just a whole lot easier and I think that if you buy a stack that goes with a board it's probably gonna work a little bit better that's just I don't know I think that's probably the case I used to just parcel everything out back in the day when I when I used to build before anything that I added was just something that I wanted to try with a different setup so I was going to do that again, but I decided to buy stacks together. So I have some preferences now. I have to have actual full pads. Like these little U-shaped pads, like on this Racer Star, I don't like those at all. Um, so I like to have a board with a full pad on it. That way I can just build a ton of solder on it, and then uh, it seems to me that it works a whole lot better. Uh, you can see there that has a full pad on the end. Um, this one, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but that has a big full pad on the end. So, it's just, I like that a whole lot better. I switched over to iFlight. I love iFlight, iFlight products. Started with this iFlight board here. This, this was going to be my dream build. I just started buying everything that I thought would be perfect for it and wanted to do something, uh, a build that was just everything that I wanted it in a drone. It didn't have these on it. In fact, it had these motors on the actual Dream build. I ended up switching them out, and I'll tell you why here in a bit. Um, but this is the iFlight Success... Success... <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it. I'll put it right up here so you guys can actually see everything. And the links will be in the description so you guys can check it out. And the reason I bought this is you can see how the ESCs hook up. It's such a cool profile. It goes directly out to the arm rather than this setup here where it's right in the middle and you have to run the wires to the middle part. Same thing with this Racer Star. does the same thing this one does. Uh, I loved how the profile goes on that and I thought, um, for one, this is going to be a whole lot easier. It's going to be easier for repairs instead of coming in here in the middle. Um, I just, I like the profile of it. So I went ahead and went with this board. Um, I'll show you the specs here for the ESCs and also for the board that's on here. I would take this apart, but I really, I really just don't want to. So it's basically, this is just going to be showing you what's in my drones and stuff. I don't want to take it apart like a lot of those other people do because it's kind of, every, every time you loosen these bolts up, take them on, put them back in, it slowly strips out the inner bolts. And if you put Loctite in it, it's kind of defeats the purpose if you're constantly taking it apart. So I don't want to take it apart. Um, but I'm going to show you all the pictures up here and leave all the links in the description so you guys can check them out. 
great board and very very easy to hook everything up I mean very easy and I think it, it turned out being a being a slick build really enjoyed building this one and then I've got an AKK uh, receiver on it or an AKK VTX on it along with a fly sky receiver because I fly cheap cheap fly sky because all I do is uh, freestyle uh, no more than like 100 yards away and it's perfect for that it has really uh, low latency and everything uh, just a really good cheap way to get into FPV and that's why this whole thing is kind of a budget the sex X D I think it's the D or something like that um, kind of more of along the lines of a budget board but it's a great board great great board flies amazing and I'm glad I got into it um, these motors are the iFlight 2450kV motors I had to get higher than a 2300 kV motor. I know a lot of people are going under. There's people going anywhere from 1700 to 2300 uh, kV motors for 5 inch builds. And I have to have at least 2450 to a 2750 kV motor. I just like it better. It's, that's a personal preference for me. I just really, really like it better. And these motors perform very well. They're super cheap. Super cheap. And that's kind of what I wanted in this build was to be kind of a dream build. But for it to be cheap too because I wanted it to be a basher where I can break things and it doesn't take anything to replace the parts. I wanted good products that I could replace at a cheap cost. And this is literally a dream build for that. And iFlight is literally the company that makes products that are perfect for that type of a scenario. So if you want to get into drones, you want a basher that you can wreck, that's tough, takes a lot to break, and is really cheap to repair when you do break it. iFlight products are just the greatest so you can see that I've got the iFlight stack iFlight ESC's iFlight board iFlight motors and also this is a, actually an iFlight Truex clone it's about $20 cheaper than the iFlight frame itself uh, the difference is you can see on the bottom here the actual iFlight one that's not the clone has an option for you to to put 20 by 20 a 20 by 20 board on it and this one does have that option too but it's in the top these are your holes here, but you have an option to put the 20 by 20 from the top down. I didn't want to do that. I, I like a 30 by 30 board. I just do. I like the bigger feel, bigger board. It's easier to solder, like easier to repair, easier to get in here while things are put together and fix stuff. I just, I like the bigger one. This is, this is how I am. Uh, I've got Tiny's LEDs on here, and I get these from... These are the one thing that I didn't get from Amazon, and you can't get them from Amazon. I got these from GetFPV.com. Great LEDs. I love these things. So you get a whole set. You get the bottom and the top. And you set the LED by, there's little solder spots right up here at the top. And there's multiple colors you can do it in. I got these ones set for blue here. And then you run these wires just to the other side and they're real tiny discreet wires that run to the other side you set this set the color of the other side so awesome LEDs these are my favorite LEDs but they're constantly out of stock so that's why I don't have them on anything more than this I'd like to order a whole lot more of those badass LEDs so 2400 kV iFlight motors tiny's LEDs Success. D, I think, uh, like you'll, you'll, you can, you can click the link, link to see for sure. Uh, AKK VTX, Fly Sky Receiver. It's one of the bigger ones. I need to put a smaller one on here. Um, and then I've got one of these Foxier cameras, and I'll, I'll show you a picture right up here of the Foxier in full range. This is gonna go in in all of my rigs. Very wide screen. You see everything. I used to run nothing but a run cam, a run cam Swift, and I love the. Uh, the run cam rotor riot run cam swift because it gave you that gopro bubble um, lens to it and this one's actually better the just the camera itself is better i love this camera so much um it's going in all my rigs and you can set it really easily uh, just a great fantastic camera and i love that i found something a whole lot cheaper i think it was only like 25 bucks i'm glad that i found a <laughs> an fpv camera that's a whole lot cheaper um, than Run Cam, but still has the same high quality. I like it a lot.
and plus it has the option to go in a smaller drone like this one this one's width wise and I'll get into this one in a second this was my main drone width wise it's a whole lot smaller this one width wise it's bigger and it's got a little adapter on it that you can snap into place and put a screw in and then put it on a wider one so it gives you the option to go on either or that's what I love about that so I can put that in any one of my rigs and it's going to work phenomenally then this just comes to a lollipop Foxer lollipop I'm trying these out I really 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 like them and then I've got some extended bigger uh, antennas on here for my receiver uh, this also, one of the great things about this is all complete set up for 6S. Uh, so this comes with a 50 volt capacitor here that you can put on. You can put it on either, you know, I like to put it on the end of my pigtail. Uh, but you could also put it on the back on the pads here. But it also comes with another one already pre-built to the drone that's 35 volts. So extra protection love this thing great great drone flies amazing very good control and I've just been playing around with it I still have, don't have it tuned in 100% um, but it's just been an amazing flyer for me and this is kind of my backup I had the GPS I had GPS on it for a little while and it ran perfectly with a plug-and-play GPS um, I also want to I want to put a better GPS on it because my my FlySky receiver doesn't have telemetry in it, and so I have to get a different GPS for it to actually show telemetry to get it to work right. But it, it, it showed the correct speed, and that's what I wanted to use the GPS for. It's a great drone. Oh, and then I forgot the strip. This has got the LED beeper on the back um, that you can set the colors to and stuff. So this one's set for all blue. It's just a great drone, and would be my primary drone if it had a higher kv motor on it i just like and i'll get into this one i like the motors on this one a little bit better um and i'll get into why here in a second but when it comes to a budget build everything being primarily cheaper than the really really high cost of fpv gear now um when it comes to <clears throat> if i bash it am i going to be able to repair it everything on here i can repair uh, singly for under twenty dollars, so and that's what I wanted, except for the stack. Everything else, the VTX, the receiver, the LEDs, the you know the motors, the camera, everything about twenty five and below, twenty five dollars and under is how much anything costs if I break it. Typically, you break one thing at a time, so it's it's an awesome basher budget basher that I can just go out it flies phenomenally flies like a high-end drone but it's repairable at it like a low-end drone that's what I love about it